Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Community Remix. We're gonna play as Isaac here. We had a good run last time. Figured out how the Levicho technique works. I'm just gonna call it the, the technique from now on. Because I can't be trusted with that kind of pronunciation. The video hasn't gone up yet, so I don't know if I've mispronounced it the whole time. But anyway, I'm excited uh, to have a little bit more of a vanilla-ish community remix run. A run where we'll focus on winning uh, as much as we'll focus on getting new items, hopefully. And a, a run where hopefully there's still a couple of new items that I can get that I can experience. Like, I know there's one item called the Cool Bean, which uh, I've heard a lot about in a, in a Binding of Isaac subreddit thread. People were like, what's your favorite item in Community Remix? A lot of people said Cool Bean. I'm very excited to hopefully get a chance to check it out. I don't know how it drops. I don't know what it does. If I had to guess, it would be like a freezing fart or something like that. Doesn't that sound like what it would be? Given what we know about the bean and what we know about, you know, slow-moving atoms. Lacking heat, etc., etc. But for now, um, if this shapes up just a little bit more like a traditional Isaac run through the first few floors here, I wouldn't be too disappointed because that last run, I think I need like a little bit of a, a cleansing period if that makes sense. I did drop a bomb there. We have enough that I figure it was an okay uh, use there. Some people might be a little bit salty that I picked up Brother Bobby or, sorry, not Brother Bobby, Bobby Bob Bomb. Um, but I think is a reasonably good choice, all things considered. Gives us a few extra bombs, allows us to get that key, took out Famine for sure without getting hit, and we could use a bomb here, but I don't think we're actually going to need to. It's just nice to get into the swing of things, playing uh, playing Isaac again after being away for uh, a few days and not being able to play it. Get a pill here and another key. Hmm, we'll probably save that key for now. I could use it to open that golden chest. There's probably some viability in there, but uh, I'm going to save it and we'll head down to the next floor. So far so good, although we don't have a spirit heart to protect us. Halo of Flies, I mean, that's protection in and of itself. Now, we're very lucky. Uh, no extra HP, but we're way more survivable just based on the fact that we have a, uh, a full suite of orbitals. Even if they're not all offensive, in a good way, um, this, is, uh, this is pretty solid. I'm okay with it at the very least. Now, we're just going to keep moving on and around here. For once, I actually am going to shoot fires. I'm not for once, but... Uh, I'm gonna shoot fires on this run. It was kind of a little tedious to do so with uh, the Ludovico technique. I've slept on that item a little bit. You know, I haven't actually. It's been like half an hour. But how do I feel about it? I'm still a little bit on the fence. I uh, I hope that I eventually end up encountering it on a run where the synergy um, makes it incredible. But as of right now, I wouldn't say I'm disappointed. Uh, just more so like, huh, okay. So this is not gonna be like the... The game-breaking item necessarily that everybody thought it was. I guess w what I'm saying is, seems pretty balanced. Which, you know, in a weird way is almost a little bit of a disappointment. Uh, because of the fact that uh, I kind of wanted to just stomp faces with it. But I think it's, you know, it's like Brimstone to some extent. In that you need other items to truly make it uh, reach its full potential, you know? It's like you can have good genetics, but you're not going to make the NBA unless you, uh, you know... Eat your vegetables when you're a kid and, and practice and stuff like that. Anyway, that's probably a terrible analogy. Now, we are uh, so far so good, quite honestly. I think it's completely feasible that I won't take damage on this floor. It totally depends on what kind of boss we're going to go up against, but uh, for now, I'm pretty happy with it. Finding our secret room is nice and means that there is a small chance I could get enough money to go to the shop. This pill is something I'm not going to take until after we see if we get a deal with the devil. There's almost nothing that could be great enough about it that I would feel bad about missing out. Even if it's a health upgrade, so what? We can get a health upgrade after the boss. What we're trying to avoid is something that's going to make this boss harder, like a, um, you know, a speed downgrade, a tears downgrade, a health downgrade, etc., etc. Uh, and also, uh, a bad trip, which would just straight up give us red hard damage, which would obviously be not so good. So I did use a bomb there to speed things up just a little bit. I'd rather not use, uh, you know, the remaining bombs that we have. But at the same time, if it's looking a little dicey towards the end, I may. Probably takes off about, you know, 15% of Monstro's health. This is a pretty tanky version of Monstro, so it's nothing to sneeze at, but, uh... Fight's going well so far. If we could save all these bombs, that would probably be better. Now, um, on, on the subject of the shop, there is a golden chest. I was pretty lucky. Probably end up taking that tears upgrade. Let's see what we've got in here. I'm gonna take it. Yeah. Now I'm going to reroll the Tears upgrade. I'm not going to reroll the Razor Blade. Uh, because I was hoping to get an HP upgrade instead. You know? There you go. I got my comeuppance. We ended up getting uh, a range upgrade instead. Now I apologize, of course, for taking Mom's Knife. But it is the it's the smart money play, you know? Cobalt Street takes Mom's Knife. 
And people actually cheer him on for it. And then when I watch that, I have to I love my community. I do. But it makes me a little bit jealous when I see people are like, Cobalt got this the knife, GG! Whereas when I pick up the knife, sometimes it's like, oh, this motherfucker picked up the knife? Wow, does he even care about like run integrity? Well, fair question, I guess. Alright, so our uh, our little golden chest gamble there ended up working out fairly nicely. We're uh, probably not going to buy that ladder. I'd rather just get the, the key. Yeah. Alright, we still have a, a lot of uh, potential community remix synergy. Especially when it comes to spacebar items. And now that I've picked up Mom's Knife, I can afford to be a little bit more uh, lackadaisical. That's probably not the right word. A little more laissez-faire. Let's take this p pill now. Ooh, that's actually not so bad. Um, I can afford to be a little bit more laissez-faire about my spacebar items. So if we end up getting, like, Sulfur, for example, I could have Mom's Knife plus Brimstone. And let's be honest, that would be cool as hell. Even though Sulfur's kind of bad, being able to have Mom's Knife and Brimstone at the same time would kind of fulfill, like, a childhood wet dream of mine. That's a sentence I never thought I'd say. So Wheel of Fortune is probably terrible, but if we need one extra penny, the fact that that shop... Oh, wow, that was bad damage. Uh, the fact that that... Uh, that uh, slot machine exists now could allow us to just get it for the cost of a bomb. Which is probably one of the best uses of the Wheel of Fortune card outside of the obvious, like, strategy of saving it for the chest. Which we can't really justify doing because that strategy, uh, well, I mean, we could. It's a little bit more of a, of a long-term thing. So we got Fetus in a Jar, or Epic Fetus. I never really bothered to learn the, uh, the different titles on each one because doesn't really matter, they both pretty much guarantee a victory, but uh, we're not going to take them because... And it, this is not like to avoid, you know, disfavor or something like that. I just, I don't like using them if it's possible for me to avoid and still win, which obviously it's looking like that's pretty likely right now. Um, oh, that was, that was dangerous. Um, then I prefer not to use it, thank god for that extra HP there. We're not going to pick up little Chad though. Oh, this is a weird one, man. I'm actually extremely nervous. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to pick it up just because I find it a little boring. You know what? I'm going to actually play this and, and hope to win some red hearts. Even though it's going to cost us some money, it might actually cost us a chance at our shop on this floor. I should be able to supplement our income a little bit on the secret room, but uh, I, I really don't want to die. Bombs are key. Oh, that's, that's kind of nice. Potentially, at least. So we're going to play this until we get some red hearts, and if we don't get any red hearts, then I'm going to blow it up. And if we don't get any red hearts then, then we're really on the hot seat. It's really unfortunate we haven't had any uh, HP upgrades show up so far. We got all the HP upgrades on the last run. We got somewhere in the vicinity of like, I think we had 11 total HP, which is 8 HP upgrades. And I did take a deal with the devil or two. So we probably had, uh, you know, maybe 10 HP upgrades on that last run. Which is pretty nuts. Alright, that's that's nice, but I would like to get uh, at least a half-heart cushion, just in case we come across, like, a champion enemy or something. Um, but if not, we're going to probably end up just blowing this up right here. Little unfortunate, but at least we got that half... Oh, that's nice, too. We got some of our money back. But uh, no bombs, so the secret room's not as likely anymore. Still as viable, I guess, but not as likely. Uh, and no bombs means we can't get to this chest either. But we did get, like, nine cents for blowing up that... Slot machine, so I sort of feel like that bomb use was totally fair. Uh, we can't reroll Little Chad. And Little Chad, believe you me, it's tempting to pick it up in a situation like this where our HP is low. And we may actually decide that that's a good course of action when we leave this floor. The reason you don't pick it up is because normally... Ah, that's very nice. Normally you don't pick it up because uh, Red Hearts are not usually the most crucial consumable. And by the time they are, Little Chad might drop like one or two Red Hearts for you or something. And then it's like, well, it's not really that worthwhile. Um, whereas the potential negatives, if you, uh, let's try this out. The potential negatives, if you end up getting the miter, are obviously, um, you know, potentially catastrophic. You could lose out on a ton of spirit hearts. This extra HP is super nice, and we're really good from all consumables right now. And there's another spirit heart right there, so if we wanted to, we could probably go pick up that eternal heart and be totally fine. But we're not going to, but there is a Tinted Rock here. Okay, you know what? I've, I've been carried to a certain extent here. I'm very happy about it, but... That could have been the secret room and I just placed the bomb improperly. We might as well look for the secret room for, for a number of reasons here. That are probably relatively obvious, but... Uh, let's check out our shop first. Shop contains Champion Belt, which I think is a super nice item. If I have the opportunity to get that, I would love to. Let's just see what we've got in here. Oh, so there's our secret room. It's all the way over there. I will lose, um, yeah, a little bit more 
HP. A little bit more on the Spirit Heart side to, to get out of here, but that's fine. 18 cents. Hopefully these drop pennies. If they drop like two pennies or a nickel, uh, that would still give us a chance to get a blood bank on the next floor. Sadly, no. But that's okay. We're gonna get one HP, a damage upgrade, tons of champions for the remainder of the game. Little Chad is not gonna be something we're gonna pick up, but yeah, so be it, right? Lots of consumables except for money, but we have plenty of bombs. Uh, so, this is pretty solid. That tarot card is tempting, but not something I can really afford to go with. I'd say the Caves Part 1 has turned out pretty well for us. The only thing that's lacking on this run right now is, sincerely, it would be very nice to get some more HP. We're, we're lacking in that regard right now. It would be good uh, to be able to pick up some more. We can't reroll little Chad. I kind of hope that's something that changes in Rebirth as well. But, I don't know, maybe maybe that's good that there's items you can't reroll. Saves the reroll strat from becoming like all-encompassing, I guess. Or like all-saving. I, I don't know. We'll see, at the very least. Oh, yeah, that was bad damage on my part. I, mean, I am really hoping to snag a deal with the Devil. As much as I've complained about our HP, I am hoping to get, um, honestly, Sulfur. I'm hoping to get Sulfur because just the, the novelty factor of having Mom's Knife and Brimstone at the same time is something that, you know, titillates me a little bit. The Shears, that's a, that's a terrible item. Just not a very good item. Little Steven is okay. Shears, I guess, isn't terrible. But it's terrible if you already have your, your space bar stuff sorted out. Um, so I, I'm always, you know, very thankful when we get one new item community remix-wise, because it kind of, in my mind at least, justifies making the video to some extent. Not that the, you know, again, the worst case scenario with these is that we end up with basically two Isaac runs in one day, which, to be honest, is, is not a big deal if you like Isaac. The people that don't like watching me play Isaac, you know, they, they made their opinions heard and they... If they're not gonna watch two, they're no, I mean, they're not gonna watch, or if they're not gonna watch one, I should say, they're not gonna watch two, so it doesn't really matter all that much, but, um, I always like when there's a, a little bit more variety, just to make, uh, make these community remix things kind of like a standalone thing. I don't know how long I'm gonna do community remix videos for, that's, uh, that's inner eye, I think, third eye, for the triple shot. Uh, but I'm, I'm content to do them for now. It's nice to actually spend some time in Community Remix and maybe get some new items. I'd like to play until we see all the new items, but, um, well, I mean, I'd like to play until Rebirth actually comes out, but that could be, you know, three or four months at this point. Just judging by the fact that it has to, well, not has to, but it's supposed to come out in, uh, in 2014, and that's basically what's left of the year at this point. The year's gone by pretty quickly. We are gonna go back and reroll, uh, what we had in there. I forgot what it was. We had Steven for a while. Doesn't look like I'll be able to bomb my way into the boss trap room. Should check for a secret room. You never know. I could use a, a reroll there. Maybe get a, an Ankh or something. Oh, it was Triple Eye, right? Harlequin Baby. So we're going through all the familiars. Uh, Harlequin Baby, maybe slightly better than Little Steven, although I'm not totally sure about that. Not totally sold on that. It's going to be nearly enough money to make our uh, our shop potentially worthwhile, and I think we could justifiably think that it's pretty likely we're gonna get at least three more cents on the floor. So I'm excited about that because being able to get the Nuns habit would be really, really nice. But for now, let's just move along. You know, no reason to get uh, overly attached to how things are going. We will check out our shop while we're here. Yeah, this is why there's no reason to get overly attached. Hey, we finally got three cents. Let's go buy Nuns habit. Oh wait, it's just an asshole. But hey, we actually have a free shop item, which, uh, you know, that uh, is way more... That was a really dumb move on my part. Uh, Steam Sale, way more re-rollable than, than Harlequin Baby. We could actually end up getting Nuns Habit for free. Unfortunately, the dream has died, and I've taken some, uh, Red Heart damage here. Which sucks, the big one, but that's... It's okay for now. We can probably, uh, I mean, Blue Candle's pretty solid, but... Here's what I'm thinking, actually. Why don't we hurt ourselves enough to get into that boss trap room? So I did pick up this Half Heart basically just to blow myself up afterwards, but... Um, we'll use Blue Candle on this boss trap room to hopefully make it a little faster and, uh, less likely for us to die. We will get, you know, one-third less of a reroll, but it also makes us substantially less likely to take, uh, you know, really nasty damage here, so... I think this, this temporary Blue Candle, we're using it, like, kind of the same way you'd use, like, a Unicorn Horn charge or something like that. Sure. And, I mean, Blue Candle's great, but I prefer the D6. So we'll put that back down, and when we get another reroll... Probably end up going back here. I think at this point we're probably going to end up taking Harlequin Baby. And really the only negative on this run still. A little bit low on the HP side. 
We can make it work, I'm sure. Um, eventually, at least. For now, we're just lucky that we're not dealing with super difficult enemies. I think we're just gonna pick up Harlequin Baby. It's extremely unlikely that we get enough rerolls to make rerolling Harlequin Baby worthwhile, especially with a, uh, you know, boss room potential deal with the devil. Although I wouldn't really hold out a whole lot of hope for that deal with the devil actually working out for us. But anyway. We should have at least, you know, maybe one room boss room then after this. And maybe we fight Krampus and get a super lucky reroll. Uh, well, this is kind of what I what I meant by that, actually. I should be using... By the way, thank you to people who told me that the way that you would actually use one bomb to get two bombs there is, uh, you know, use the Mr. Mega Glitch. Or uh, you can put the bomb in a position to knock the, uh, knock the bridge down more easily uh, in another way as well that I've forgotten. But yeah, the Mr. Mega Glitch makes a lot of sense, but... You know, losing one bomb in the whole scheme of things is usually not cataclysmic. Not that that excuses me from making a, you know, a objective gameplay mistake, basically, but it's, uh, it's not catastrophic. As, as the Isaac community, you know, gets bigger and bigger, and as, you know, the game gets older and older, and I mean that in a good way, uh, you know, it gets, like, more established, uh, you know, smaller mistakes take on, I'm just gonna use it, take on larger meaning, I think, uh, so you end up having people getting really, really bent out of shape about things like not necessarily using the Mr. Mega Glitch properly, and you're like, man, I remember in like episode 30 or something, I was still at the point where I would leave an item room behind. It still happens like, you know, maybe once every like 100 videos now, um, where I'll just leave the item room behind without going to it, but people would be like, oh, silly Northern Lion, you left the item room behind. That's gonna have like a deleterious, uh, 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 whoa, what is wrong with my brain right now? Like a deleterious effect on your accomplishments or your chances here. Now it's like, holy shit, this fucking idiot doesn't know that you can put a one bomb here instead of two bombs, even though he has enough and blah, 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 you know. Be cool, babies, it's no big deal. I mean, babies in the affectionate, like, you know, loving relationship way. Not in the, like, wah, wah kind of way. Although you can have a loving relationship with an infant, especially if you're, like, related to it. That... Don't deliberately misconstrue that. I'm talking about some familial relationships not trying to be gross, okay? And I'm not trying to say that, you know, if you have that kind of fetish, that the fetishiz fetishiz fetishization? Fetishation? You know what I mean. Is gross. I'm just, I'm a, I'm a nice guy, and that's getting me into trouble, because I'm trying to backtrack too much, and I'm, and I'm being too nice, and now... As you can see, the speech centers in my brain are no longer working, and oh no, I've gone cross-eyed again. So we're heading down to uh, Depths Part 1, Necropolis Part 1. I thought maybe I could just will it to be the floor that I wanted it to be uh, by uh, by tricking it a little bit, but it didn't necessarily work out well for me. It's a great run so far, but uh, I would very much love if we could just snag quite a bit more HP. We've pretty much cleared out the, the shop from uh, items that I don't necessarily want. I shouldn't say that because it invites all sorts of, uh, you know, bad karma for me. Because now we'll end up getting, like, notched axe, the ladder again, yada yada. Um, which I'm not super interested in. That being said, uh, we should have a much better likelihood, at least, of getting the items we want. And now the Book of Sin has been taken care of. Uh, that's, uh, like two or three books that have been taken out of the rotation so far, I think. Remote detonator is fine. It's a very bomb-focused run. The first item we picked up was homing bombs. We got burnt penny. We got uh, remote detonator. And as I always like to say, remote detonator, one of the best items in the game to reroll. Because you do get a, a benefit out of it. And of course, I've said that probably like, you know, 50 or 60 times now, but just to reiterate. Because remember, I do still have people that uh, occasionally are like, why didn't you go to the deal with the devil after the mom fight? And stuff like that. Or sorry, not after the mom fight, after the mom's heart fight. If I didn't go to the deal with the devil after the mom fight, that's I've made some kind of colossal mistake after a pretty surprisingly good play, I guess. Alright. So, plenty of spirit hearts, giving us a, a decent amount of protection. Uh, well, there's the ladder, isn't it? Against um, taking red heart damage prior to the boss, which is good. At this point, I'm just trying to get uh, two-thirds of a reroll before we go back to that boss room. Because I would like to have a reroll ready for a deal with the devil, considering, you know, we're really... Oh, careful here. We're really, really gonna have to admit, if, you know, if we're gonna take a deal with the devil, it has to be this one, pretty much. Because our HP is so bad, we can't really afford to fuck around and take, like, two or three of them. But, I honestly, I know this is not the best deal with the devil item. I, I still think sulfur would be a lot of fun to take. And it would be very community remixy to have a, a sulfur plus mom's knife combo, I guess. 
Alrighty. 26 homing bombs feels real nice. Shall we check for the secret room while we're around, just in case? Why not, right? End up getting a little extra money in there. Uh, and four extra bombs never hurt anybody either. So, we're gonna fight the boss. We're gonna get sulfur. Replace the D6 with sulfur, which is a little... Eh, ugh, whatever, at least we have nine keys. A little disappointing, I guess, but... Uh, who knows if it ends up working out drastically in our favor. And if we don't have anything to reroll, hey, we have um, the item room that we can reroll as opposed to anything in the boss room. So, I am content with our situation. Although, of course, yes, I would still very much love to get some HP. I got super lucky to not get hit there, by the way. I'll, I'll be the first person to admit that I should have taken damage right there. Alright, this is uh, over before it began, basically. Let we get the soap. Eh... It's all right, I guess. I, it's all right because it's new. Now, we didn't get sulfur. We actually got uh, brimstone, which I don't want. So we'll reroll both. We get rage and money equals power. At, at the very least, if this is not going to be a super community remixy run, even though we did get champion's belt, um, I'm going to pick up money equals power, which... Oh, come on now. Uh, which is a, a really fun item. That's just, it's just fun, man. Especially if we're not going to end up... Uh, burnt pennies better. Especially if we're not going to end up spending uh, a whole heap of money here. What did we get in this shop again, or this item room? Remote detonator, I remember now. Probably our first rerolls will be uh, directed towards making the ladder worthwhile, especially since it's half price right now. Would it? Oh, it's just nothing. Got distracted by my uh, my own halo of flies and was like, "Oh, we got some like gray neutral flies out of that. That's weird." But nope, that's just me being a big ding dong. As is uh, commonplace. Always love getting more keys, especially when I wasted one in a, uh, a silly fashion earlier. Really want to get something to augment this uh, D6, because at this point, we could make a library worthwhile. I would be fine with the compass as well. There's, uh, there's many opportunities, uh, I think, for us here. Oh, that's the end of the floor. Shit, are we going to buy the ladder? I mean, it's only seven cents, but... I kind of feel like that 7 cents is just better served as extra damage, or saving it for the next uh, shop. Although the next shop could quite conceivably have greed or super greed in it, but hey, let's do it. Quite interesting that we've gone to so many shops, but uh, have not really been able to make them work for us yet. But that's the way the cookie crumbles, you know? We got um, a really good item in Mom's Knife, a really good item in Money Equals Power, and some pretty nice defense, except for HP with respect to our uh, orbitals here. Let's just see if we can make it work without necessarily having the, the full picture here. But this is, uh, this is our last floor for really, in all likelihood, a, a really strong bounty of items. So, gotta make the best of it here. Thank God he didn't leap there. Spider Bros, not that excited about that either. And an Eternal Heart, which I definitely don't want to pick up. Because there is <clears throat> a very realistic chance of us getting a uh, Blood Bank. Careful. Now, if we get a blood bank, serves us a lot of... Oh, man, he's fast. Uh, it gives us a lot of potential benefits. Not just money, which is also damage, but HP as well, which we also need. That was a terrible room for me. I'm, I'm not ashamed to admit. Well, I'm a little ashamed to admit, but I'm not going to try to hide it. That was a just not a very good room, all things considered. Considering I fought those enemies, I don't know, a thousand times. I don't think we buy a portable slot, I think we just re-roll it. And the coin purse, considering we don't have the PhD, is not one of those marquee items that I'm super excited to buy from the shop. If I'd bought the ladder, I could have gotten a spirit heart here, but I don't know if I really care about getting one spirit heart. Uh, honestly, you know, you got to think of the opportunity cost of, of getting the ladder as well. We would lose a little bit of damage in the process on every single room thereafter. So I, I still feel like... Oh, that was close. I didn't see that rock, it kind of blended in with the ground. Uh, I still feel like uh, this this is the right decision. And Mr. Mega is beautiful here, especially since we still have Burnt Penny. We can stick with Burnt Penny for the remainder of the game as long as um, we don't get a better trinket, basically. So it's it's kind of a win-win for us. And uh, it's, it's completely plausible we won't get a better trinket as well. What do you have here? We don't know what this does. I'm very glad it wasn't bombs or key at the very least, but I guess we already had that, so I would have recognized it. But we will reroll the coin purse, and now it becomes the compass. So it's not the best item in the game, in the shop even, I should say, but uh, it's it's a good one. 
If we want to go to the curse room, we have to go before the boss room. Do I want to go to the curse room badly enough to possibly ruin my deal with the devil chance? Well, yes, if we're... N oh, that was a dumb pickup. That would have given us enough HP to get back to full health after this. If we're not going to get a deal with the devil on this floor anyway, which, let's face it, is pretty likely given the circumstances. Um, this, this seems kind of smart to me. So let's check out this golden chest as well. I would like to go to this boss trap room. I don't know if it's going to be swingable, but I'm not going to pick up that red heart just in case we do actually manage to make that work. Because the extra HP would be super nice. And we don't have the map, so we'll just look for some secret rooms here. We found it on our first bomb. Truth be told, I wouldn't have minded uh, even if we took like six bombs. Because as long as you get nine cents, you're pretty likely to get those six bombs back. Plus you get the money. And the money is super important, obviously, to help us get our damage back to where it was before we bought the compass. And the compass was super important because, you know, it's just a never-ending domino chain of, of positive things happening in our, uh, in our Isaac run right now. You know, it'd be really positive, though, is if we could actually manage to snag just a little bit of extra HP. Make me a lot more confident in our chances of success here. Three bombs and three cents on a room is, uh, it's a good pickup. Can't tell a lie. And our damage is, uh, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say shocking, but it's quite nice. It's getting the job done. Mom's knife already standalone. Pretty great damage. Then we've got the champion's belt on top of it. I don't think it's worth getting that penny for a bomb, even though we could get a bomb back. Um, well, you know, it's just like, neither course of action is worth it. It's not worth doing, and it's not worth not doing. So I think I'm going to stop being lazy, and I'll just go do it. Because, hey, plus .04 damage, right? Why not? So we'll put this down here, maybe find a second secret room. Ah, or maybe just waste two bombs, but we have 46 of them, so I don't mind too much. And we even got one back. Okie dokie. So, again, if you're wondering why I'm not picking up these uh, red hearts, even though I'm... Oh, that's tempting. We'll probably end up doing that. If you're wondering why I'm not picking up these red hearts in spite of the fact that I'm not at full health, it's because that boss trap room, you know, I could deliberately injure myself uh, to visit it. I'm just... I'm deciding right now... Oh, that's so good. Mom's context. I'm in the, uh, the process of deciding if that's going to be worth it, because if it's not uh, an HP upgrade, that's a pretty big gamble to walk in there and fight you know, two bosses for like a speed upgrade or something. I would really like to have some extra spirit hearts backing us up before we go through with that. The other thing is to uh, to go through with that, yeah, so I think I'm not going to do it. Why? Uh, if I had gone through with it, I would have needed to get that uh, eternal heart. before. Well, either way, we're going to need to get the eternal heart before we fight Mom. And I would much rather have this half spirit heart, even though it's not a lot. I think I'm going to reroll that, honestly. We only have one trinket as is much better um yeah i uh i'm kind of rambling here i hope you understand what i'm saying basically there's an eternal heart on this floor i want to take that eternal heart the only way to protect that eternal heart conceivably for my for my taste at least is to have a spirit heart backing it up the only way to get into that boss trap room would be to lose my spirit hearts uh and then get low on hp and then get it back so it's possible the best course of action, if we would have a really good mom fight, where we would be guaranteed to not, ta not take damage, would be to, you know, walk over spikes or something until we got down to one heart, uh, pick up an HP upgrade, then get the eternal heart and go fight mom, don't take damage. But I'd rather just take the guaranteed HP as long as I don't get hit twice, which could totally happen. I could still get hit twice, you know, for all the best laid plans of, uh, of mice and men here, but uh, I wanted to give myself the safest possible HP, and turns out we probably would have been totally fine. So I'll take the Polaroid. You never know. Maybe we end up getting Guppy's Paw or something on a future floor. Would be nice. Um, Blessing of Piety. So that's given... Blessing of Piety is the one that gives us the uh, Eternal Heart. My guess is that Blessing of Wisdom, then, which we got on the last run, probably gives you the Map Plus Compass effect, or like the Sun Card effect. Sounds smart, right? Um, let's take it. Hey. Uh, but uh, I didn't notice because I already had the Map and Compass at that time. Alright, I think I'm starting to slowly piece it together. Now, will I ever remember? Probably, but it'll take like 200 episodes. Alrighty. Temperance is um, is not a card. Well, what do we, what's our other one? Wheel of Fortune. So I think we do end up taking Temperance. And what we do is we find a floor. We're not going to fight Greed. I was really hoping that would be like Gluttony or something. We find a floor where there's a lot of red hearts on the ground. It won't be this. Oh, actually, it can be this one now because our eternal heart's been completed. But yeah, um, and then we get as much money as we possibly can get out of it. The HP plus speed upgrade in the form of the blood bag would be uh, a nice little cherry on top, but mostly I'd be playing it for the, the extra damage, honestly, uh, from money equals power. 
But the Relic is such a good pickup for us as well. I mean, obviously, you don't need me to tell you that. It's it's one of consistently the items that I talk about being the most important in the game, when you can get it at least. More bombs is nice too. Took a lot of, a lot of strength, you know, a lot of going against my, uh, my own preconceived notions to pick up, or to, sorry, to uh, re-roll Mom's purse, but I think it ends up being the right decision in this case because, you know, we're happy with Burnt Penny and it's totally plausible we won't get another trinket and if we do, it's totally plausible that it's shitty, so I don't think this is too bad. Now the only question is whether we'll end up using Temperance on this floor and there's, um, there's a few red hearts. We have some Spirit Heart coverage so we can afford to get a little bit lower than we otherwise might be able to. And it would be nice to be able to take Wheel of Fortune with us even though it's not that good until we get down to the chest, but we're closing in on the chest. So we'll see if maybe we get some good red hard drops here. That makes it uh, a little bit more viable, I suppose. All right, don't take damage here because we actually have enough HP to possibly, you know, get some good stuff out of a deal with the devil. Jesus, I can't believe I didn't get hit there. The game did me a solid there, I'll admit. I should be, uh, I should be hurting a little bit, but I'm not. And now, a guppy's paw, man. Well, I, I don't really like either of these, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to go a little crazy on this, because I have a lot of spirit hearts backing me up. And then we're going to re-roll both of these. I'm not going to pick up Guppy's head before we re-roll them, even though... It, oh, nice. Even though it would give us a chance of becoming Guppy, um, I don't want to lose the HP. So I'm just going to re-roll both. And yeah, I like Blood Oath. I, let me put it this way. I don't think Blood Oath can ever be a damage downgrade. So I don't think by picking it up, I'm going to pick it up and then be like, oh, but I have HP now, so that's not so good. Um, I think uh, it, it's, at worst, it would be like nothing for you. So I traded HP for it, which kind of sucks. But um, at best, like if we end up getting a Guppy's Paw, for example, which is still somewhat possible, um, then it would be crazy good for us and our damage would be through the roof, which combined with Mom's Knife and Mom's Contact is just crazy at this point. And money equals power, which is, you know, increasingly uh, helping us out here. So IV bag is actually like, I'm not too salty about it here. It allows us to get a little bit more money and we have a reroll pedestal, which we'll use appropriately. But we could use, um, well, it depends, but we could use it to get to uh, 99 cents. And also, I guess if it lowers our uh, HP, then Blood Oath does more damage as well. Uh, not really too hype about going to that curse room right now. Our HP is a little bit it's low enough to give me pause, let's put it that way. To give me, um, oh man. Give me, the, you know, a desire to kind of wait on it. But what I will do is reroll Bob's Rotten Head right away. So this is a bit of a gamble. I don't think uh, I'll ever end up being able to be in permanent Whore of Babylon state, but again, it just makes that Guppy's Paw pick up even better. And it opens up a reroll that we can use on uh, IV Bag soon if we want to. Um, but I would prefer to, yeah, trade some Red Hearts uh, in with IV Bag. I don't think the permanent Polaroid invincibility thing works. It always ends up sucking Spirit Hearts from me when I try something clever like that. Like I go down to half a Spirit Heart with permanent Polaroid invincibility, then I like play uh, IV Bag again, and I go up to one full Red Heart by losing a Spirit Heart in the process. It's it's very strange. But we can at least play it uh, like once with IV Bag. Uh, Isaac's Fork is not as good as Burnt Penny is for us in our current situation, so just get out of there, man. Well, we got the same room again. Let's hope I don't take damage. It's pretty much gone the same way so far. Oh, managed to sneak out of it. Two of Diamonds. Oh, so, sure. This is great because now we pop two of Diamonds. 99 cents means we have uh, absolutely no reason to keep IV Bag around, so we can just start rerolling that into something better. Like Kamikaze, <laughs> which is about a thousand times worse. But that's okay, too. We don't necessarily need that. Um, sure. We should have, like, two more rooms before our boss room. I think, you know, one of the things I'm really taking advantage of in Community Remix is the opportunity to fight Satan instead of fighting Isaac. I think it makes for a much better game. Uh, which, I don't mean to be insulting to the, you know, to the creators or anything like that, but I think the Satan fight is better. Nice. And in addition to that, I think it's a lot cooler to have, like, two different boss fights leading up to the end instead of one that's pretty much a carbon copy of the other one. Like, the Blue Baby fight is just, like, a harder version of the Isaac fight. Or I guess in this case, the Isaac fight is just, like, a harder version of the Blue Baby fight, right? Like, um... Because we're skipping the Isaac fight, so I think that's the one that Bear's, uh, talking about. Oh, there we go. Yeah, uh, we're doing uh, we're doing a ton of damage here. We don't have a, and then I, of course I go fight Isaac. 
<laughs> That's force of habit in, in motion right there, people. I'm sorry, okay? It's just muscle memory. That's all right. You know, the only person I'm punishing here is myself, really. Because I'm going to end up taking a lot more damage in the process and, you know, open myself up to all sorts of, uh, you know, potential problems. But we should still... Oh, wow. I didn't even see that. We should still be fine either way. It's just a... Uh, a little bit more tedious, I guess. Tears down. Doesn't really bother me that much. Our boss fight's right here, and truth be told, we have a really uh, amazing setup for uh, for these late game boss fights with uh, you know Mom's contact and the incredible damage we're dealing and yada yada. All right, so let's do this. Get him frozen and sneak in there. You know we're gonna take damage, but we're also gonna take him out super super quickly. If I stand just far enough away, I should be safe. We even have a full suite of orbitals backing us up, so this is pretty much sorted as is. Lots of damage on this one. Uh, so D12, this is still the old version. It doesn't actually work. Lard might be useful, but I think it's actually just more important to reroll all these um, and see if we get something that gives us even more damage just to kind of be comical. So we already have bombs, like almost all bomb synergy, so we should take those. And It Hurts gives us speed plus damage, so uh, why not take that and just uh, get our damage buffed even more, right? I think we'd be silly not to take that. I think It Hurts is a pretty solid uh, pickup, all things considered. Just realized I made a, a slight mistake in not taking Wheel of Fortune down because I that was like three floors ago, but I did use that Temperance card, so I totally had an open slot. I was never going to use Bombs or Key, so that's uh, you know it's a minor mistake, but it is a mistake. I'll give you that one. And we're just trying to stack up even more damage here because this is uh, an exceptionally powerful run that at this moment pretty much just exists for uh, amusement. There's not a whole lot of. Uh, of indecision about whether or not, or a whole lot of speculation, I should say, about whether or not this run is going to work out in our favor. So, you know, we can use Yumheart once. Abel is trash, but that's all right. Abel shows up a lot, so, you know, you got to give him props for being a regular, at least. You know, now we don't even need to use Yumheart. In fact, it would be bad for us to do it. Should have killed Sloth last, but by the time I realized that, I'd already taken my shot, which uh, doesn't really help out that much. So, Mr. Boom is terrible, but now we have 99 bombs. If we could just get Skeleton Key, we could complete the trifecta here. War, I, I wonder if I can kill him. Yeah, I was going to say, before he even, like, moves. That was a dumb walk on my part there, but that's okay. All right. Uh, Flat Penny actually does give us a chance to get to 99 keys, I guess. But uh, that's going to be a little bit too much grinding for my taste. But we don't need Burnt Penny anymore. So, let's reroll these. Ah, you know what? So, Miter's great. At this point, it's so overkill, it's not even funny. But uh, it's going to be fun to take Book of Belial into this boss room and just see how quickly we can kill Blue Baby. This is... Not a super community remixy run, but uh, definitely one of the strongest runs I've uh, I've ever had. And you know what I'm thinking is maybe for the next run, I'll, I'll just give myself Cool Bean and uh, and we'll try that item out because I know that's one of the very few that I'm missing right now. All right, so let's pop this bad boy, and then we'll just go stand next to him. And oh lord, this is comical. Mom, get the camera. We did it. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll may I promise next one will be a little bit more community remixy as I uh, give myself cool bean. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps a lot. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.